Insecurity has a pretty bad rap, doesn't it? What if I told you that it actually may be good for you? Hello and welcome to Emotional Health Coaching with Diana Deaver, your everyday guide to emotional intelligence. As long as we're human, we're going to be insecure to a certain degree. I believe that instead of trying to get rid of our insecurities, we can use them to propel us. Behind our insecurities, you can find our need for connection, for belonging, for being part of a community, a group, or a relationship. Usually, we're afraid that we're not going to meet the criteria of belonging and someone's going to reject us or not see us or not notice us or not like us and therefore not embrace us. Being self-assured all the time is not realistic or even human. It's very normal and healthy to be insecure, especially if you're in a situation that you're not familiar with, a new group, a new job, a new relationship. Of course, you're gonna need your time to get familiar with the new elements of that situation and also to develop trust or the understanding whether trust is something wise to have in that situation or not. Insecurity invites us to stay curious, to stay mindful. It reminds us that we have limits and that we don't know everything and everyone. One way to use insecurity to propel you is by giving yourself the adrenaline of sharing it. I know that may sound crazy, but when you own your insecurity, it diminishes dramatically while it makes others feel like they can really connect with you and trust you. So repeat after me, I'm insecure and that's okay. You'll notice that anytime you own an insecurity you have and you're in a group or in front of another person, they're gonna automatically relax a little bit and feel like they're closer to you and they can trust you more. Why is that? Because we are all insecure, so therefore we can relate. Owning your insecurities makes you relatable. Another way to manage your insecurity and most importantly your reaction to your insecurity is through self-parenting. So imagine that the part of you that gets really insecure is a little child, maybe a little child inside of you, and they're getting really you know, tiny and timid and scared and unsure of themselves. As a parent to that part of you, what would you say? What would you do? How would you encourage a child to believe in themselves, to try something new, to put themselves out there, and also reassure them that if that particular situation fails, you're still there, the parent, which is still yourself. That's self-parenting, being there for yourself always. Probably the most important way you can parent yourself is to spend time getting to know yourself. Because the more you know yourself, the more you know what you need. The more you know what you need, the more you can meet your needs in a healthy way. And the more you meet your needs in a healthy way, the more you learn to trust yourself. And trusting yourself is the opposite of being insecure. You know that no matter what others do, no matter what situation happens, you will be there for yourself and you will know how to take care of yourself. So you won't be depending on external acceptance or reassurance or approval because you've already done that through your own power. For a more in-depth look at insecurity and other emotional health topics, hop onto my website, emotionalhealthcoaching.com. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of goodies coming your way. And if you have a particular thought, or a different perspective on insecurity, I would love to hear it. Please paste a comment below. Thank you.